astrophysics is um, is a is a discipline that is kind of being born in the in the, in the past few years um, of researchers looking at food from different disciplines, so chemists and psychologists and physicists trying to understand not only how we perceive food but also how it is digested and also understanding before we even ingest it how uh, those physical and molecular processes interact to make food taste nice. And so gastrophysics is this discipline that brings it all together in a way and uh, it's also could be a very powerful tool to teach um, at school to teach um, for example you could learn about chemistry and physics to learn about the chemistry of how you make an emulsion, so a mayonnaise is an emulsion. You can teach kids what an emulsion is and what it, how it works by teaching them how to do a mayonnaise. So you could learn a recipe, something that could serve you in your life, uh, you know, and could really enhance your well-being. If you have, if you know how to make a quick mayonnaise, it's, uh, it makes your salads taste nicer and you can use it in many ways. Uh, but also you will learn about the physical processes and chemical of, uh, of, uh, of an emulsion. So adding food to education could be a, a huge tool to make us more aware of what we consume, of the, of the food that we eat, but also more aware of the complexity that goes into the making and at the same time teach us on how to prepare delicious foods. So I think gastrophysics will hopefully become um, something that will be taught at schools and 20 years we'll look back and say well why didn't we teach kids you know this from the beginning now they go out they're 18 and they know how to cook many recipes and they they're kind of independent because they, they know their stuff and at the same time they have this this different approach the more digestible approach to, to some some science that is a bit boring sometimes and because we don't, we can't touch it it's very hard to understand so here we could understand uh, a very complex molecular process by tasting it so it could be could be an interesting tool